What's going on guys? Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. I told you guys that I was gonna be bringing you guys a lot of top gameplays, a lot of good players I've played on these leaderboards off stream, so I know none of you guys have seen these games. Uh, this one's actually on, was on stream, but this was the last one of the games I'm gonna be posting from on stream. The rest are gonna be off stream. I'm playing CJ, very, very good player. He finished second in the Texans Club Series, I believe. He lost to Joe Rice in an incredible game. It was a really close game. He also did really well at the Classic. I believe he got top eight, I wanna say. So, really good game. Uh, this is our second time playing on the leaderboards. The first game was very, very defensive heavy. We, we went back and forth with basically stop after stop after stop. I believe I threw a pick six to him and this end of the score game was like, I think I won 10-7. It was, it was an awful game. <laughs> but this one was actually a lot more exciting, a lot more offensive heavy. So basically the complete opposite. And this kind of shows how the game is right now. The two the two of the same exact players could play. And one game is 10-7 where the only points were defensively based. Like I got to stop in his red zone to get points. And he got to pick six. Like just a complete defensive struggle. And then this game where we couldn't get a stop to save our lives unless we were getting lucky really. So crazy game and uh, let's jump into it he's got a really good bunch right here you guys see he goes to pat sale picks up a huge chunk early makes a man miss and he's inside my five so not the best start to give up a big deep completion like that early on but is what it is we're gonna try to get a stop in the red zone that's part of the way you win games right now in this madden is getting stops in the red zone uh it's very tough to play defense so if you can get your opponent inside the 20 and hold him to three you're gonna win the game a lot of the time so right there nice little play Beat my man with a with a zig right there, but we're able to keep him out of the end zone. Third and goal. He goes to verticals, and you guys know how verticals is. It's really just, is my guy gonna punch the ball out or not? There's nothing you can really do about that. And he makes the catch and gets it gets to the um gets the touchdown. So unfortunate start for us to give up seven on the first drive. I always say the first drive is really a feel out drive, and you want to make him work. I gave him a 60 yard pass the first play. And he ends up getting in the end zone, so I didn't really get to see what he likes to do, nor did I get a stop. So, not the not the best first possession, but we're doing all right. We get we pick up a first down early. We just got to answer back, try to get seven on our own. Right here, we go to X spot, one of our new favorite plays, uh, one of my new favorite setups. I love that setup. Another first down, a little, little bit of an ad catch, but it was relatively open, so I'm not going to mind that. We missed our drag right here. Uh, that's a read you have to make. It's usually my first read, and I usually don't miss it, but... Missed it right there, so throw the ball away. Nothing wrong with throwing the ball away either. If you if you miss your reads, don't force anything. You don't have to, and just go to fight the next down. Third and one here. I haven't ran the ball yet, so I wouldn't be surprised if I ran the ball here, but I do pass. I probably should have ran it, to be honest with you. Uh, third and one. It's not fourth and one, and I haven't ran yet, so he probably wouldn't be expecting it, but we go to the pass. Now we're on a fourth and one, which we don't want to do, and we throw a pick. So, honestly... I mean, I have to throw something on fourth down, so I don't mind that pick. I think we got stopped right there on our third and one call. I think I really should have ran the ball. Having not ran the ball yet at all, uh, being a third and one, knowing you're going for it on fourth and one, I don't mind a run there. Uh, show, make him show he has some run defense. So I don't really like my call there. And he gets a stop, so he's in great position right now. Right there, nice little uh, crossing route, getting above my hard flats, and he picks up a second and 11. So he's moving really well. We're not really making him work much at all. Uh, I don't like that, especially after just getting stopped. We have to make him work just a little bit. Goes to the run, picks up about seven or eight right there. Uh, he doesn't run the ball a ton either. He's similar to me. He passes the ball a lot, but if he if he does see an opening, he will. He won't hesitate to uh, to run it. But right there, I have no idea how he got that in that pocket. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would play the exact same defense. I don't think that would ever fit in that in that zone again. But right there. It happens to fit, and he gets a touchdown. So, unfortunate start for us. Two really easy drives for him, and we got stopped on our first drive. So, we are gonna we need to get seven right here. If we don't get seven right here, this game's pretty much over with. But it is our ball at half. So, if we do go get seven, we're in prime position to not take control of the game, but keep ourselves in a good position to win it. Right there, we got our running back wheel route. Didn't want to take a hit stick, just cut right out of bounds there. I'm not mad at that. Going back to PA shot wheel here. One of my favorite setups. And we're gonna miss our drag again as we get sacked. That's twice now on that same exact setup. I missed that drag where 
if that drag's open, I just have to take it. And you see, I go back to the same exact play here. And I know the drag's going to be open. And I take it this time. Now, it isn't great. I only gained seven yards right there. So that's not great for a second and 18. It's not the worst. But imagine if I had taken that read on first down and second and three. You know what I mean? So, like, that's just the type of reads you have to be able to make. Right there, I expected to pick up a lot more on that table route. That kind of sucked. I was hoping to get a lot more than four there just to make this a really easy fourth down. But regardless, we go to our favorite play. Whenever you're on a fourth down, go to what you think is the toughest play for you for them to guard in your playbook. And that was uh, that was Dublin Sale right there. So went to that. I expected them to gas me right here. So I wanted to uh, I wanted to just quickly come out in a, in a play that I could quick hike with a Max Pro. And that was Shot Wheel. So I had two deep routes that I liked. Uh, in a short route and I was in a max pro so that's why I, I quick hike that just to try to catch him lacking um <laughs> if uh if he was if he was gonna blitz me I, I figured he would blitz me there but right there I don't know how we didn't get our feet in bounds uh, I thought that was a good pass but regardless we go back to x spot here and we pick up ourselves a first down so we're in a struggle drive right now picked up a couple uh had to pick up I believe two fourth downs now so we're in a struggle. Now, I went to this, this PA counter go setup that I went to on my fourth down before. It's the one that I threw the pick on. I knew he would break back on the post just like he did before because he baited me into that interception. I had myself the touchdown, and I just couldn't get the pass off. I got hit right as I threw. Uh, right there, that was just a weird drop animation, whatever. But right there, we had ourselves a touchdown again. But when I felt the block shed coming, you had to take your safe read. You can't, you can't pass up an open read for for a late read that could have been more you have to you have to just take what's open and and move the chains right there that's a huge play so second and four here i need seven on this drive and who else other than julio so huge touchdown right there to keep ourselves in the game uh we struggled the whole first half we gave up two easy touchdowns we got ourselves stopped once and then we had an ultimate struggle drive to get ourselves seven but it worked out perfect we clocked the whole way and uh and now we have the ball to maybe make it a, uh, a tie game right here. Right here, I missed my in route, which I usually I usually hit that in route like clockwork uh, against the blitz. But we ended up picking up eight on our own. Probably would have been a first down if I hit my in route, but I'm not mad at I'm not mad at good pocket. Um, but gotta make your reads. Another fourth down, man. I told you we've been struggling all day um, on offense. He's been making me work really really hard, and he gets himself another stop. He played really good defense this this game. Um, put me in a lot of fourth down situations put me in a lot of situations where I had to be uncomfortable and I didn't do a good job of making him work so right there he uh he gets another stop and we're in trouble so we have to we have to try to find a way to get back in this game and right there we're not doing it so we're down two possessions now here's what I'm thinking you're down 14 you know you need seven here three is not going to cut it whatsoever if you get three especially with the way we play defense the game is over so I'm thinking this pick up a lot of yards very quickly deep routes and if I'm taking short routes I'm getting out of bounds so you see back-to-back -back plays I took short routes but I got out of bounds on both of them now it stops the clock while you're in the huddle lets your team get your energy back so you can continue to move quickly out of the huddle it doesn't stop the entire time like it does in the fourth quarter but that's good enough right there probably had my crossing route but wasn't sure if I was going to force it if, uh, I wasn't sure where the user was going to go so just take my underneath route uh, right there I probably had my high ball fade um, just going back and seeing my reads here, um, but the in route's not a bad read either. But I usually that high, that high ball fade is usually my first read right here. He clicks off, and I get a touchdown. So that was a big mistake by him. He got a little greedy. He played great defense all game. He was using the crosser himself. He clicks off to try to sack me, and now there's nothing left to call, guard the crosser, and I get a free touchdown. That's a perfect drive. That was literally a perfect drive. I scored in about a minute. When you're down two possessions, you have to score really, 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 really quickly. And right there was perfect. So now we're on defense. We force him into a third and six. This is probably my stop area. This is what I'm thinking. So if I force him to a third and six, I think I can get a stop. We send the dogs, and he just goes to a, good, a really good play. He had a curl and a post. Had to pick between them both, and he picked the right read. So once again, it's the same thing. We're just having trouble getting off the field. There's There hasn't really been anything that I can do. Uh, to stop him he's made really good reads all day when we've sent pressure we haven't got it quickly and he's been able to have time to make easy reads right there we don't send pressure no sheds and he makes another good read i haven't been able to stop him all day guys i have played bad defense 
and there's nothing there's nothing else I can really say other than that you're not gonna win games if you don't get a single stop even for a field goal uh, right there we try to go to double and sale to pick up a big chunk and I had my post route and I just didn't take it I don't know I just was sitting in the pocket maybe I felt the pressure getting to me but since I saw how easy I had that post I go back to the same exact play and uh, and I know he has to pick between both of them just like before it was the same exact thing I knew I'm either gonna have to post the corner route this time he uses the post I throw the corner route I'm in the same situation I was before. I want to score really, really quickly, and I want to get out of bounds if I take anything short. I want to get out of bounds regardless, but if I take anything short, I want to almost make sure I get out of bounds. Um, sending the dogs again, getting lots of pressure after me. And I'm struggling right now, so third and 22. Uh, we just need to pick up something. And uh, so we put two deep routes with a fade, and we fit our crosser, and he lurks a little bit behind it. Not sure what he was really doing there. Maybe he was just trying to uh, play contain on it. But huge first down there. I mean, sorry, it's huge pickup right there to make this first down even close to manageable. And right here, we hit our post across the middle, and Odell makes an Odell-like play. Just keeping me in the game right there. Really have not played well. Um, I've missed reads all day, uh, and I haven't played good defense. But 28-21, we find ourselves in a possible chance to win the game. Uh, and right there... We just couldn't get it. We just couldn't get back there. But we forced him out of bounds, which was good to keep the clock uh, stopped. But every time I sent six at him, guys, I just didn't get pressure. And right there, you guys can see, I sent six again. Didn't get any pressure. But we got a monster hit stick. We needed something fluky, guys. We needed some type of luck. We could not get a stop, uh, stop otherwise. And uh, with that, now we have three timeouts. We have uh, about a minute to go. And we have a chance to win this game. So... This just shows how Mad 19 is. If you don't play well, you still have a chance to win the game just because of just because of luckiness. And right there, we hit our corner route, and we're able to get out of bounds. So now we're in perfect position. We're inside his 40, and we have two timeouts still, so we're feeling good. Clock's, clock's a factor still, but it's not a huge factor. And he gives us our crosser. Perfect for us. Now we're inside the 10. Clock doesn't matter at all now. Clock's not even a factor. I can do whatever I want. I can run the ball. I can pass the ball. I'm really just thinking to myself, I need to get seven, and hopefully he doesn't have enough time to go get three himself. Uh, we won the ball with Walter, just keeping the clock moving, making him take his timeouts now. It's a little bit of a, it's just clock management. So at first when I had the ball, clock was a factor. I had to score quickly. Now, I'm thinking to myself, clock doesn't matter. I just need to make sure I need to score, and he needs to worry about the clock. Right here, we go into a uh, PA slot corner, one of, my, one of my money plays. And I just really have to throw something, guys. I know that probably wasn't the best read, but you have to get something in the end zone right here. So... Right there, we go to the exact same uh, motion that we did before for that with our crosser. Knowing he's probably going to run with it just like because we threw that before. And we hit our curl. So earlier in the game, I hit that crosser for a touchdown. I know he's going to run with it. I have something else I can high ball in the back of the end zone. And we get ourselves a touchdown. Right here, we thought we had the game-winning pick. He threw it right at us. I, right there, I was pissed because... I didn't get a stop all game. I did not play well at all. But right there, I really thought we baited them into the pick that would have ended. Because we would have been in field goal range. And we still had a timeout, too, if we weren't quite there. But regardless, he's able to hit his route right there. Not quite field goal range. He needs to get out of bounds here. Uh, but I'm not worried about the flats. So everybody was mad at me. Why didn't you have a hard flat? Why didn't you have a hard flat? I knew you really couldn't kick it, I didn't think. Because of the wind. I knew there was four miles per hour wind. You guys need to make... I forgot to mention that earlier. I knew there was my uh, there was wind against him. I did not think he could make it from anywhere past like about 51. So 53 yarder, not really worried about that. Maybe I should have played flats there, but I wasn't worried about giving up a couple yards. I didn't want to give up a touchdown. That's just the way I was thinking. Right there, I have no idea how he catches that. He threw it right at us again. Not only do we not pick it, but he catches it. So tough break there. And then we bait him into a pick. And we drop it again. So we didn't play good defense all day. But the last two possessions, the one where he almost got a field goal. And then the one right there uh, when he threw it right at us. Back-to-back -back possessions, we actually did some decent defensive plays. We finally did something. And the game didn't reward us. But I can't be too mad. We had to get a fumble to even get back in this game. So right there, that was a heck of a playmaker. It was third and 19. He was in a bad spot. And he just basically broke my user with that, with that, uh, with that playmaker. So first down, that's a tough one to give up. That third and 19 was a little bit of a heartbreaker because it was really the first defense we played all day. We really hadn't done anything to him. And uh, right there, he just fits in his post and he finishes us off. So 
was a heck of a game. CJ's a great player. Uh, this is our second great game. We split 1-1, so maybe we'll get a tiebreaker soon enough. But hope you guys enjoyed, man. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Really appreciate y'all. Take it easy. Peace.